family, this is Megan Bowen, aka Chaw Moon Me Goo Saddam. Welcome to No Blog No More. Oh, that's it. Oh. We have. Didn't help. Anyway, sorry about people. But yeah, so we're over 8,000 now since the last non vlog. Oh my gosh, that's freaking amazing. You guys are so amazing. Thank you for subscribing. You guys are awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm so happy. You know, the other non vlog when I was really happy that we got an increase in subscribers. I did a dance, but I didn't really learn any dances since then because it was so fast because you guys are so awesome. So, this is all I got. So today's numb, okay? Almonds candy, okay? This stuff is addicting, okay? So they're so good, okay? It's a whole block of something, and there's a whole almond in each candy. It's just like sugar and butter that made a block of candy on an almond. Num, 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 num. Delicioso! Okay, so on the subway when you're riding, people are really tired, right? Koreans work very hard. Some people are tired on the subway. Most people like go like this to nudge the person up so they wake up and go to the other side. Or they like slide out. But even though I let him sleep that time, I really wish... Speaking of subway, Men, when men are sitting down, you know how they have this thing where they think that all of the space that their legs can spread open to is theirs, okay? It's not your space, okay? I know you need to sit like this, okay? But no, you just can't do that on the subway. People want to sit down. Come on. I would like to have my entire seat to sit in. Please, let me have it. Lotte World, okay? Standing in line for this ride. Okay, Lotte World is supposedly the world's biggest indoor theme park in Korea. There's also an outdoor portion too. Okay, I got them. I went there with Melissa Hager and um, I was talking to Melissa in line. This guy, Korean guy, in line in front of me is like, are you from Georgia? I was like, how you know that, bro? How you know that? He was like, I heard your accent. Because most Korean people, when they hear me talk, that just like learn English over here in Korea and haven't been abroad, they can't tell that my accent is different from any other American accent. To them it sounds the same. I even asked them. As my coworker, hey, does my accent sound different from other people's that you hear like on TV and stuff like that? She's like, no, it sounds the same. Georgia, a. Hey. Okay. Lotte World, okay? You gotta come if you come to Korea. You gotta come. Just come. Okay, so I went to the hanbok store, and hanboks are Korean traditional clothes, and I bought a hanbok. When you see the whole thing. You're supposed to like put your hands in here. And this bowl thing, I cannot tie it properly. I tried to pop the lid in the store and it came out okay, but not as perfect as hers. You have to like tie it so specifically. So just ignore that. Just ignore it. Dress is like big princess dress status. Okay, I maybe I shouldn't do that. It seems inappropriate. Okay, so this is a humble, but this is one that's like for. Not just the normal one, it's the one that the noble ladies wear. 
and that's the one that I wanted. So actually I found a hanbok shop. It's a used hanbok. Okay. I just got some new neighbors and they have these little dogs, you know. The little tiny dogs are the ones that I was as you hear. They bark when anyone walks by. It's just, you know, at least I know if someone's walking by, someone can't just they can't just come up on me like that, you know? They can't just come up on me like that and rob me or something, okay? Because you know I'm here because I'm dog over there barking. So, actually, that's why this used humble shop is really cool because you can go there and get one for a really good price and it's called Junia Hanbok and it's located in Amsa. I'll put the information down in the description box just in case you wanted to use Hanbok but in that store they run between 50 and 130 dollars and you can also get accessories like this thing and this fake bun that I'm wearing. Actually I don't even know what it looks like. I don't even know if I did it right. I don't know. I just think that they're so pretty. You know? Awesome Korean. I mean, you had some awesome clothes. I mean, you did. You really did. I love them. Okay, so I was going to keep this on for the rest of the film, but I feel like I can't be wearing these nice regal clothes, okay, and acting a fool, okay? I understand the regalness of the humble, okay? So, let me just change right there. Okay, so I don't know about you guys that like K-pop and stuff like that. Okay, so... I was watching some makeup gurus videos, you know, on YouTube, because I love my makeup gurus, you know, and they're talking about smoky eyes, like, I'm going to do a smoky eye blog. Smoky girl, smoky girl, smoky girl, girl, smoky girl, smoky girl, smoky girl. Does that happen to you, you guys that like K-pop? Because K-pop songs always have, like, English titles, so whenever I hear a word in a K-pop song, that's it. it. Just happens. Okay, so I went to the pool for the first time ever. So I don't look like, not for the first time ever in life, but for the first time in Korea. And it was very cool and interesting at the same time. Okay, so I was like, are people camping at the pool? Like so they want to hide from the sun. So they bring camping tents to the pool. And inside of the camping tent, they're wearing like sunglasses and a big hat, like, Super duper hiding from the sun. A lot of people were also tanning too. It was about half and half on the tents and hiding from the sun and tanning. But what's really interesting is most of the men there are wearing Speedos. <laughs> I've never seen so many Speedos in one place before. I was like, wow. This is very interesting because I'm used to men being like, I'm gonna wear my manly long shorts and not wearing those Speedos. And even like, grandpas wear Speedos. That's all I'm gonna say about that. And school started back now, so I'm not desk warming anymore. Which is kind of good and bad, because for some reason, whenever the new semester starts, I always feel like I've forgotten how to teach. Delicioso! Probably sounds like I'm cracking teeth, I'm not. It's like you bite it and it just cracks open. So awesome. So, if you like this video and you like to see more videos, please subscribe to my YouTube page, which is down below. And thank you to everyone who's been subscribing. I really appreciate it. I'm so happy. I really am. So, one of the subscribers really wanted to see me do a Draw My Life tag. And so I told her, she asked twice. I told her, okay, when I get to 10,000 subscribers, I'll do it. Because those things are, take a lot of work and time to like prepare and do. But I didn't expect to go up so quickly. So to that person, I'm sorry, I can't remember your screen name, but you asked me to do Draw My Life. When we hit 10,000, I'll start working on it. I'm not sure how long it will take me to complete. I might have to skip a non-vlog or so, so I can make that. So thank you for watching. If you like this video and like to see more videos, please subscribe to my YouTube page, which is down below. And I will see ya. Okay, so for today's vocab, I thought since I bought Hanbok that I would talk about different clothing names. Okay, so the first one, Hanbok. Hanbok. And Hanbok is traditional Korean clothes. Okay, Paji. Paji. Paji are pants. Pambaji. 
are shorts. Pan means half, so it's like half pants. Pan baji, shorts. One piece. One piece. It's just like what it sounds like. One piece. It's a dress. You can also say dress, just dress, but with a Korean accent. And then chima. Chima means skirt. Chakche. Chakche. And chakche kind of sounds like shirt with a Korean accent, but a ch instead of a t. Okay. And then the next one, shinbal. Shinbal are shoes. And the last one, gudu. Gudu are also shoes. Okay, that's it.